look at the filters now obviously gravity fed so I've got to have the I've got to set the height of my filters the same as the height of the water in the pond so um, this area here I'm, I'm going to have to look at I'm going to try and somehow level probably by using blocks they're not quite square but I'm going to have to try and square things off I'm going to get a measurement coming across so I know where the top of these tubs need to be and we go from there so let me just see if I can get that set up so I'm trying to level it um, I've put those blocks on sand that seems around the right level I've backfilled a bit that's still got to be uh, solvented in I haven't got my um, valves yet so I need to make sure I need to do a few measurements before I can put that in and cut the pipe at the right size um, so I'm trying to backfill across this area and get it level and I'm thinking then once it's level I'll just cement round it all that's, that's my plan anyway so I've put the spirit level across there so that's the highest part of the filter obviously the water is not going to be that high so but if I can get the top to sit just above that it should be spot on so yeah so that's where I'm at at the moment. It's absolutely weird how we spend so much time digging out and then you put, you're digging it and putting it back in. Unbelievable. I'm trying to get these level, they're not yet, but I'm working my way across. Um, I'm try and get as level as I can and then maybe use the wood to, to just balance it out. So that's where I'm at at the minute. Getting this slowly. So this type of donkey work takes bloody ages when you're shoveling and trying to level things off but there you are it's got to be done got to get all my pipe work then that'll be the next thing i'm going to get all the pipe work on before i put, all the, put those blue barrels in there because there's not going to be a hell of a lot of room so i'm going to get the pipe work done first before they come into position anyway let me crack on Right, coming mates, what you may notice is that ball valve has now got a red handle. What actually happened, although my pipe is four inch and I ordered a four inch ball valve, so they were both imperial, didn't actually fit. They were butting up pretty much the same, um, so there wasn't a, a fit there. They, I couldn't push the, the pressure pipe inside there. Now, fair play to Swell, I got this from Swell Aquatics. I sent it back and he got me one that fits. I've just solvent welded it on. Uh, fair play, excellent service from them. Uh, so I, I do recommend, I do use them quite a bit for my fittings. Um, you know, there's no quibbles. If there's any returns, they take things back, pay for postage and things like that for you. So fair play to them. So they swapped it over, it fits and it's on. Happy days. So I'm about to cut the pipe. So if you've seen on my last video, I done the same method again. I used A4 paper, wrapped it round the pipe to get a square angle and then I'll just cut through it to the right size. So much easier doing it that way. Let me get that cut. Right, so that's on there now. <laughs> solvent it on so I can concentrate now on, on filling this area try and get it um, a little bit neater there a bit, bit more level and try and get these set at the right height um, across there so that's what I'm going to try and do now um, and also I've got my pipe work left to do here which I'll try and test fit together I am waiting on um, a UV to turn up a minute, I've ordered a new one, so can't really do much until that turns up so I can see exactly how it fits. 
So yeah, I'm gonna try and level this area now. Maybe use a bit of earth that I've got hanging about and some sand and try and get it looking a bit, a little bit better. So some of the crap that I, or earth, that I decided to put there, I'm shoveling away again to fill up down the bottom. So here we are again, moving things back and forth, doing the job twice. Had to be done though. Let's crack on. Right guys, leveled things off a bit more now. Um, I haven't solvented the, the elbow on because I obviously need things in place first, make sure everything's lined up. Um, got them barrels pretty much caught on level now. And they, they set at the height of the wall. Obviously, you know, the water's not going to be that high, so when the pump is on as well, it will pull it down a couple of inches. So I would have thought they're going to be just over three quarter full when it's uh, when the water's in them, or round about there. Can always make some adjustments after but i prefer to get it right in the beginning so i think i think she's pretty much spot on i didn't want them over filling i suppose that was my main thing which they can't do now because they're the same height as the top of the wall right let's crack on just test fitting some pipe work now um just drilled and plugged the wall so i'm gonna put this little bracket on and hold the pipe in place, see what it looks like. And uh, yeah, like I say, I'm just sort of test fitting bits a minute to see what they're gonna look like. I may notice guys, they got a couple of new barrels. Um, so, measured that one out. So I got my hole sawed. I'm gonna put these together, the same as my other ones. But what I thought I would do, They've all been thoroughly cleaned. Um, I'm going to file these over now and then wash them all again. So I'm just putting them together for now. Um, so I thought if I build three new ones, I can get it all up and running without disconnecting the, the other pond, temporary pond filter system. So that's what I'm doing in a minute. So I'm setting these up, hole saws out. Bought this little kit before of... Um, I think it was off eBay. It's only about 16 to 18 pounds and just paid for itself over and over with a couple of jobs I've done, not only these, but a few other things. So I'm gonna get these done and I'll show you what my DIY filters are like then. Catch you in a minute. Right, so there's another pack of uh, new uni seals, which I've picked up. We work out about uh, £10 each from the Uniseal shop. Like I say, when they're easy to fit, you can put a little bit of, um, you know, a small bit of lube or something on them to push them in, but they do go in quite easy. I usually use fairy and then uh, just wash it all out to make sure it's spotless before, uh, you know, before using it finally. But uh, yeah, so there's another three. So I'm going to get them into these now. Um, just slot one in there, one in the other side, and go from there. There you go, it's as easy as that, and then you just, you will have to lube the pipe. I put them in dry, but you will have to lube the pipe. Right, climates, um, solvent welded are on now, so that run down that side is completely done. 
that one's been solvented in um, I haven't done the bottom return as yet but I've test fitted all the pipe work and I've just solvented most of it so I'm going to just put that back on and let's see what it looks like right so that's all tightened up all secured this isn't yet what I'm planning on doing here I'm hoping my I have ordered an EVUV more powerful one so obviously I can adjust all this this hasn't been uh, well did yet and it's one of those new UVs that come down to join so I'm hoping it's going to run across the top there um, so yeah that's all done You've gone for these slide valves I've used rubber fittings obviously it makes it that little bit more flexible I'm going to get a boot to go on there again easier if you ever have got to take it off for anything it, it will come off so that's why I opted for the boots on all the ends they'd obviously seal it'd be spot on there won't be any issues so yeah so the UV should come across this wall then and obviously something will come down that end and I'll have my pump joining into it so that was all solvent they'd be forced probably not in the right spot but I'm gonna obviously use that and then just connect the pump onto the bottom and away to go so it's all taking shape now happy days right so what i've done i put the manifold inside so i can line this up tidy and as you can see i've circled around where it goes with a, a felt marker so i can find the center of that i'll drill it and i know i'm in the right spot so that's what I'm going to get done next. Right guys, I've had to do a little upgrade. Um, I've gone with an Evo 75. Some quick luck. Yeah, I've opened the box. Let's see what we got. So... It's one of these new Evo... Revolution Aqua 75s um, comes in this white style now. Apparently, it's a little bit easier to change the bulb like this, so uh, we'll soon see. What have we got in the box? So, we got the clear tube, and we got the bulb there. Um, comes the cable. There's no plug on these, so I can wire that straight into my socket box we've got instructions with it um yeah, there's a fair one size on that it's pretty long so that should go on the back wall pretty tidy um so yeah, let me get out the box and we'll have a look so i got it out of the box guys um so what's it come with obviously you've got the instructions you've got your cord sleeve on the bulb um comes with two hose tails with rubber seals which screw in there um i'm not going to actually be using them myself but um i will be keeping them for for spare um so what it says to do firstly is unscrew the black cap and then unscrew the locking collar off to do that both sides so i'm going to get that done Right, so the next thing, they are off now both sides, so I've done that. Um, so the next thing to do now is to put the quartz sleeve through, and then using these quartz sleeve O-rings, you've got to put one of them each side at equal level, so let me just do that. So you just fit the washer on, push it over gently, um, like that, and that'll push through you have got to guide it from the other end to slot it in and then uh, do the same the other end put the washer on so there's the opposite side so all you've got to do then is screw that on obviously do it gently make sure you don't cross thread anything you don't have to go mega tight just nip it up for now do that both sides 
So that's done. All sides there. Okay, so we've got the bulb in place. Um, I try not to handle the, the glass on the bulb too much, to be honest. Um, it's just something I've always done with halogen and things. So um, I try not to handle the bulb if I can help it. So the next step, you just gently pull that through. It does come with two washers. So the washers need to go over, make sure they're in there and they seat it in nicely. Gently, you will have to hold there while you push that on. So I need two arms for that. So I'll just get that done on both sides and then the bulb is in. So that's it all put together. Um, it does come with two little brackets as well to mount it. Um, I've put one on there, just needs tightening. It is an Allen key in there, which it doesn't come supplied with. So luckily enough, I've got plenty of Allen key sets. So I'll have one to fit that. One goes in that side um, and then we can get it mounted. So. Yeah, so that's the unboxing and the setting up of it. Very straightforward, very easy to do. Um, you just need to be take your time with it. You may need two of you to get the connectors on the bulb unless you've got um, quite a long reach and you, you can do it from both angles. Um, but yeah, very easy to put together. Nice length of cable on there, It'll be plenty for what I need. And it, it looks good. I think it'd definitely be easier to change the bulb on this because it's going to sit away from there and you can just undo that and pull it out. Whereas the old style I got, it is a bit more difficult. So yeah, let's get it fitted. Right, Kai mates, that's the UV fitted. Um, all on there, um, that side, obviously, I've got to sort the pump, which is just going to come from the floor straight into that. I've got to shut off that side, and I can close it all off there. I've got three valves there, so I can close all that. If I need to do any maintenance, that can all be shut off. Everything's plumbed in. It's all done. Everything's tightened up. Um, wired in, so the UV's there, all wired up. That's my shower um don't know which way i'm going to do that in a minute so that's just going to sit there and i'll probably put a blank on for now i've solvent at the end obviously i can move that by undoing the collar so i can jiggle that round yeah so that's it for now um let's crack on with a couple of other things so that pipe's going right the way down to that end. Um, I've put a run on it, it's all solvent welded, so um, that one's in place. Like I say, I've put things, I've made sure I've got things in place just in case. I may not run water down there all the time. Um, I've tried to keep my pipe work as short as possible, so I got it's really short at this end, and obviously there's a run down there, so I can either turn that one off, put it on, May use that one in the in the winter because it's a bit higher. You know, there's, there's options, so it's all plumbed in anyway and uh, ready to go. Right, coming mates, that's pretty much my pipe work done uh, for today. I think I'm thereabouts now with everything, so all, all looking good. I'm pleased with everything. Temps have come up this week. I'm up to. Um, 12 degrees now, so these have started to heat. Let's give them a bit of. Whoop. Right, let's them that thing. You really start to enjoy it. That's it, this is only wheat germ with garlic at the moment. It's nice to see them actually fighting for food again. Been a long old winter, guys. It hasn't been that cold, but uh, it's been a long, long time, it seems. I 
So Shiro's doing well. Prince, there he is, Pep. He's been uh, fighting for food with the others, Pep, right, Yeah, Yarnet, um, for probably two weeks after picking him up because my temp was too cold but uh, the last couple of days now he's been eating well I'm only feeding him three times a day but uh, taking it easy at the moment but they're all looking for food again now I'm glad to get this uh, pond finished now get rid of this pool start tidying up the garden get it ready for summer this is wants to uh, start enjoying in the garden again. We had a barbecue last night. There's a bit of a it's like having a barbecue in a bomb site at the minute. It's uh, bags of sand and cement and crap and dust and things everywhere, as you can imagine. Wheelbarrows. If... Anyway, it won't be too long. Fiberglass is coming soon, so. That will be that then. This pond has held up quite well, mine I'm pleased with it. I'm going to be washing it out after it's done and uh, I'm going to try and... Obviously I'm going to keep it for the fish, I can't see that ever coming clean again to use as a... as a bit of a paddling pool, but um, it's great for the fish. And that's what I did buy it for in the beginning, but my... Uh, they commandeered it last year and it, mind it was bloody boiling last year in the summer and it was, I was coming home from work and sitting in this, absolutely awesome. A couple of bits of leaves and things on the bottom again. I am netting it out but uh, there's a couple of trees around. Anyway. I think I'll end it there guys, so thanks for watching this one and catch you later. All the best guys. <laughs>